right? So we talked about we talked about a number of them from here, how to mount, right? How to get to that mount, how to go to triple mount, all that fun stuff. Yeah, we played triple mount last week. Exactly. So now I'm gonna be lazy. I don't want to work that hard. Okay, so instead I'm gonna get my sack control here. I'm gonna attack John right from here. Because I don't like doing stuff where I have to give up position if I can help it. Right? Especially when I got bigger, stronger, manlier men. Okay, I gotta tire them out and I gotta try to maintain my position because I probably had to get squished and sneak out of it in order to get to this position. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hand that's under his head. He's already started to pull me apart and I can't get my underhook. Instead, I'm gonna slide that hand, I'm just gonna grab the back of his gear right here, keep my elbow tight. All right? Now John, being the slick man that he is, he's gonna start building his frames and he's gonna start getting his underhook. Right? And so I'm trying to control him, trying to stand off him, but he's shrimping out, he's moving into me. All right, he starts getting his hips out. I'm going to take that arm that was the underhook as he starts to swim. And I'm going to take that elbow and slide it right inside his elbow. Okay, so I still can't get down to my underhook. Because ideally, I'll get back to here. Right, put his back back on the mat, slide through, and now I'm back to a good high side control. But John's not going to let me do that, right? So when he gets his underhook here, he, yep, he shrimps out, he swims in, and I can't get that, I can't swim back underneath because he's keeping it glued to me. Right, but I still got that gi behind his head. So I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to slide it right inside his gi here. Boop. Try not to catch his, try not to catch his rash guard. Alright, I'm going to grab right on there. Okay, and he could keep turning into me this whole time. He could try and shrimp out, okay? And I'm going to, I, I still have that arm keeping the space in between us. Okay, so as he starts to come up to his side, right, starts shrimping out. I've got, also got that collar behind his head so I can keep pushing him to his back, almost like a cross face, right, just a gentler version. And what I'm trying to do is get that gi loose behind his neck. I like to start picking him up and moving him around. Okay? So ideally, once he gets onto his side here, I've got that gi open enough to slide in and grip it. Okay? The more on his side he is, the better it is for me, even though he feels like he's escaping. I'm going to take that left elbow, the one that's palm up. I'm going to connect it to my right elbow. Yes. All right? The baseball choke. As opposed to my X choke, which we've done from Gi, right? Where I gotta crank into it. This time, it feels still open to him. I don't have to get on nice and tight here. I can be a little bit looser. He's got the underhook in his mind. He might have shrimped out and put his knee in already, right? We start getting in this type of position. Right? I'm keeping position with my shoulder, but he's already got the knee in. Okay, so that underhook's not doing anything, so I can slide through and start twisting my elbows together. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Colin, come here. Yeah, Colin. Batman needs a break. Okay. <laughs> so one more time. I'm going to start in side control. Colin's going to be fishing for his underhook. He's going to be building frames, so I'm going to get my grip. All right? That'll help me keep him on his back. Even once he gets that, my elbow comes inside. He's going to shrimp out, right, and start trying to come up to his knees. I gotta stay in front of him. By keeping that elbow tight, I can keep his knee out of there. Right? Until I get his gi loose enough to grip. I want my hands as close as possible. I like to go thumb to hand, almost like you're golfing, right? Here. Very similar grip. Just be careful about connecting those fingers. You'll rip your own finger off. All right? But I go pretty close, as close as I can. He's cut, moving up into me. I'm gonna take that left elbow, cave it into my other one. My outside arm, I just keep wiggling on the side of his head, stays straight, okay, boom. If I can't finish here, then I, oh, yep. that's it. Here, we'll go a little bit looser, just to give him some space. If I can't finish here, he's still not done. I slide through and I come up in front of him. So I'm basically in an upside down X choke. All right. So, so you, are you dropping your body into it as you do it? Or like, how are you creating that? Like a baseball bat. I'm right handed. Obviously. So it's, it's, is it this hand that you're caving in or the bottom hand? The one that's palm up. Yeah, so this one. Yep. So. Palm up is elbow bent. Okay? So if I was hitting a baseball, right? The baseball, don't keep that elbow foot. Palm. Oh. Okay? Or if I was left handed and actually knew how to do that, then it would look like that. So elbow should go together. This way or that way? The palm up one. Elbow comes to the straight one. Yep. Like one arm stays straight, other elbow comes to it. Oh, so this yep. I'm creating straight. a noose around the wrist. Like that? Or around the neck. Yep. Okay. 
Cool? Questions? Need to see it again? Yeah, just said grips. Sit up. Palm in. All right, palm down, palm up. Okay? I'm not crossing. Both on the side they started on, elbows together. Okay? Keep that arm straight, and I should be able to finish it. Got it? <laughs> what do you do to him? I'm in side control. I get my grip. He gets his underhook. All right? Elbow inside. Let him come up a little bit. I want to make space. I want to loosen that gi up. Slide in. Get my grip. Straighten my outside arm. And then I slide my elbow in two. One, two, three. 